in the books. Uh, you know, first day kind of a little disappointed the way we came out and participated today. Uh, needed a little better mentality as far as uh, approaching practice, so that was a little disappointing. We've been a little, pretty healthy. Antoine Wilder had a little bit of a hamstring today, so he missed a. I, I'll find out more tomorrow morning. Lorenzo Nunez on Saturday hyperextended his knee. It's nothing serious regardless of what the reports you guys got. So, uh, But he'll be fine. Hope to get him back in a week or so. And that's about it. Does how tight is quarterback competition even a week or so hurt a guy like Lorenzo? Well, anytime you miss time, that's part of it. And uh, it's unfortunate for him. Uh, but uh, but he did some good things Saturday while he's in there. And I think they all did. They all showed some some some, uh, some ability. I thought offensively we, we got after the defense, which was good. So that was uh, very positive. Uh, but, uh, you know, anytime you miss time, it's, it's unfortunate. That's part of it. Have you whittled it down any beyond Lorenzo? Not Brown? really right now. You know, I think that they all did some nice things we're going to work through this week. We'll get some scrimmage snaps again Saturday. And uh, we'll kind of continue to, to press forward. You get another you know, partial scrimmage on Saturday and then a full scrimmage uh, the next Saturday and then, of course, the spring game. So the quarterbacks were live in the scrimmage. I thought they responded well under duress for the first time. So there were some positives that was brought from that. Brandon, in the part that we've seen, has moved, seemed to move up to two in the rotation. Is that just the way the rotation has worked, or is that merit-based? Well, I think I would say both. That's the way the rotation has worked at times when you guys have been there. But he did some very nice things on Saturday, and so that was that was good. So did Perry, so did Connor. You know, Lorenzo, unfortunately, we had the injury. So, uh, but, but before he was injured, did some nice things. So, again, I think that he did some – very productive things for our football team and moving our team, and that's the most important thing in taking care of the football. How do they respond to him? I know for a freshman that can be one of the toughest parts. Uh, I think, well, I think, you know, that's one thing. Brandon's got a lot of intangibles, which is, which is, which is part of being a good football player and especially a good quarterback. Obviously, in this league, you win in the trenches, as you said, on many occasions. So how, how are the, the trenches on both sides of the ball look the first five practices? You know, I think offensively, you know, obviously I think our line's a little ahead of where we are was yeah. the defensive line with Sean yeah. back, and we've tried to, as much as we could, marry terminology to some things they've done, some familiar things that they've done before. Uh, so certainly they're 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 ahead of the defense at this time, especially in our front. Uh, but we need to get better up front defensively. That's that's an area we need to tremendously improve. Coach Roper's been a little bit concerned about the interceptions, the turn the turnovers. Have those gotten any better for you? No, yeah, one's too many. So we got a, we had a couple today. So we got a. And there's a tip pass in the scrimmage part. It wasn't really the quarterback's fault on um, the third and third down situation. Um, and then we had a couple of ball security issues. One from a quarterback, uh, one from a running back uh, during the scrimmage issue, which is a positive for our defense, but yet uh, a negative for our offense. And we've we've gotten we've improved, but again, one's too many. What brought Chris Moody back? What's that? What brought Chris Moody back to the Chris team? was going to transfer when we first got here. That was the word that I got. And then I uh, recently expressed, uh, you know, some desire to stay at South Carolina. So, you know, he's still here. And so we, we gave him an opportunity to come out and practice with us. You spoke last week about looking for answers in the secondary. Is he a guy who might be able to help you there? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Good night. <laughs> so, me and T-Rob may line up at safety. <laughs> We see the Garnet helmets out here. Have you given much thought to the fall wardrobe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, can we discuss wardrobe for here? Can we? Why don't you contact your sources? Well, <laughs> I, I'll I'll ask them, but I'd rather get it from you. <laughs> well, what are you seeing? You'll see it in the fall. That's why you got to come to the game, right? Well, <laughs> Steve was kind of a traditionalist. He was he just roll out the same uniform. Are, are you more of a traditionalist? I'm gonna talk to you? the seniors about the our wardrobe moving forward, and I want them to have some input in that. They have a lot better imagination than I do. <laughs> so I, I, said, oh, I could probably tell you. Well, what have you seen from Bryce Allen Williams the last couple of weeks? You know what? He plays fast. I mean, he's one of the defensive guys that actually does play fast and uh, plays at a good tempo. He's a bright young man. I've been really, you know, really pleased with his uh, retention, practice to practice, his effort, his toughness. Uh, but he, he flashes on the film. I mean, he's, he flashes out there. Do you, like the, do you like the depth at the linebacker position? Yeah, I think we've got some good depth there. Sure do. How hands-on have you been with the secondary trying to get that group to where you can lift We'll see how they play, and I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, again, we, you know, we've you got a long way to go. The fact you you played this league, does that help you as a coach, understanding what it takes to win this league? 
As Coach Berger told me one time, you're a lot better coach than you were a player. <laughs> and he meant it as a compliment. I didn't always take it that way, but, uh, but uh, no, nah, I don't know. I, I think as much as anything, you understand the venues and the places you're going, and it is a little different if you haven't been a part of it before. What does Ellis Johnson bring? Uh, experience, uh, well 